I think, you know, I kind of agree with uh, Shane. I thought, you know, we wanted to get Richardson off to a quick start. I, I thought he was a, little, was a little bit shaky, a little bit inaccurate. I thought key number two, our first defense, was really good, including the big turn. The, the, the two young kids, they'll show you something. It wasn't spectacular, but you saw some pretty good things out of Lay 2 and Mitchell. Ace, but could not get to him. And McLaughlin will pick up four or five on first down. Yeah, and Leo was over to make the tackle been way too much on that running game to give up five yards on first down. Now, this is an excellent move by Sean Payton. They wanted to do was play him late in the second quarter and then bring him back in the third quarter so that he would get that. Titus Leo that made the play, a six-round pick from Wagner College last year. Catch made. David Sills, the fifth. Yeah, and the Colts are struggling here with their second and third unit of control right there. Uh, you know, by Abraham, totally out of control, missing the tackle. Mike Abraham, a six. Him to possibly be a nickel, be that inside slot corner. Laughlin. Good job by Johnson to shed a block and come over and make a tackle, but still, solid gain of four or five. ...and ran that thing down to the outside. He's a, he's a late draft pick that's shown me some flash at times. ...to those ideal second downs, which then makes third down, just like dominoes, makes third down manageable. Prince maker in this league. Block from the ball carrier. He'll pick up two, maybe three. In third and three, you've got most of your playbook. Uh, the difference in third and three and third and eight, eight being a defensive down. So how you get to that third down is critical. Seeing most. They are playing a heavy front, which I hope becomes a part. Trevor Denbo, Abraham over to make the play. But it's first and 10 inside of the 15 for Denver again. Up right there, linebacker gets picked. Free, basically an easy play down the sidelines. Denbo, third year man out of the damage to a yard or two. Kroll, who was very busy in that last two minute drive, had to fumble back, and he's a guy that's had a really good camp. We need to stop the bleeding here right now. Uh, Nix is on his way. 14 for 20, 120 yards, and has the touchdown that was thrown to Mims earlier in the game. Estime on the handoff. Anderson got there first. Up inside, uh, basically power. They bring the fullback back underneath and, and make the play there. Good tackle there by Anderson. On the practice squad for almost all of last year, did see time in the Raiders. In the flat, catch made, first down. Where you isolate, isolate inside. You isolate the slot in on the Mike Backer, and that with the drag, and got it. Now, I said first down. I think I was a bit premature. Inches, yeah. My apologies. He was his second catch of the drive, and already the Broncos have taken nearly five minutes off the clock, and we're going to Time out. Good chance for coaches to go through that process as well. We'll have that replay when we come back to introducing milo's rewards the new way to unlock savings from the palm of your hand with every purchase all loyalty members earn points toward they has upheld it is still fourth and short inches to go for the denver broncos and again good training see if he can ground it out they do and he should have it he should have it it's not a touchdown, but it certainly is. Broncos will continue here. And just a big loaded formation to the left. Load right there and two yard line. It's set. And just slam it with Estime and. But it wasn't enough. So Audric Estime gives the Broncos a two-possession lead there. Again, Estime is going to give them that power back. They've got Williams, McLaughlin, as it's, it's like his Ingram and Reggie Bush. He's he's one of the masters of utilizing his personnel uh, with Williams being the starter for sure. And Estime, a fifth-round pick out of Notre. So largest lead for either side today. It's tip for more information. The half, the Citizens Energy Group scoring 50 seconds off the clock. And the NFL story tomorrow will be Knicks. 
Gould, seven yard line. Time for a Toyota sideline report, and it's that time of the game where it's not just Lara, but Lara's got some selves, but I certainly will. We have Julian Blackman and Kenny Moore, the second. Kenny already coming up with the interception to start the. But um, just instincts and having awareness uh, of where the quarterback wanted to go. He saw an open running back and a and a, and a bobble in the ball, and I just wanted to make a play. Uh, he kept the ball alive, and whenever we say the ball, whenever the ball is alive, we want to attack. So, yeah, I'm just so glad that we can uh, get the season rolling with the interception, and I was just decided to go out there and dance. They call him. Does that set the tone for this defense when you get a takeaway like that? A lot, um, especially when we're going into the season with him, the energy, it really picks up for the offense as well, especially when we get the ball, you know, and on the our side of the field. So um, that's what Learning pieces of this team. Each of you signed deals this offseason. How much do you guys feel like there's some unfinished business? And there's a lot that we need to do. Um, I know that there's a lot in store. We have the people on the team to do it. We got the we got everything that we need on where we want it to be as far as talent. And uh, the guys on each roster, I mean, it's it's up in the air for everybody. So, um, so I'm looking forward to it this season. I'm looking forward to bonding uh, more with the guys. I got my guy back with me this year. Here, so uh, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward to the chemistry that we have together. Hey, it's been a big year for you on and off the field, too. You got married as well. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Julian. Thank you, Kenny. Keaton Slovis, his first drive with the Indianapolis Colts. Again, one of five quarters. His last kick, 63 yards. This one filled up the by the Colts. Daryl Baker down to make the play. Back to Indianapolis after this. Are you ready? Football is back. First down at marker and time for another tie with Lara Overton. Joining me, quarterback Anthony Richardson. How do you describe the emotion coming into today? Happiness, you know, I'm blessed to, blessed enough to come back out here, be back on the field. You know, it felt good getting a few snaps out there. Uh, I'm just looking forward to more. From yourself over the course of the preseason to be ready for that week one against Houston. Man, uh, whenever I do get my opportunity. I'll... But whenever I get my opportunity, you know, I just got to take advantage of it. You know, and just be able to manage the offense the best. I won't keep you too long because I know you were celebrating when Kenny Moore got that interception. Yeah. How great is it to see this defense making big... I know our defense is great. You know, I go, go against them in practice almost every day, so... Been able to see them do it against somebody else, and it makes me feel good. For you, we saw that handoff to Jonathan Taylor, first play from scrimmage. How eager were you to get that 5-2-8 connection back together? And, you know, get, get more reps out there, but we just decided to be back on the field together, so we're definitely blessed and happy for that. Anthony, I know I speak for a lot. We'll be back for more Indianapolis Colts football. Right Those Colts, they're back within three. Rick, show us how it happens. Pulls it, strips it, and returns it. Terrific play by the young kid. Watch him. He comes off the... I, I think he is a guy who potentially has some Kenny Moore in him. Jalen Virgil will return the last. Tell you about Micah. One of two third-day defensive back draft picks by the Colts. Jalen Simpson is the other, but he's the defense coordinator of the Battle Hawks in the UFL. Oh, and by the way, Micah is the cousin of former Colt. I worked his daddy out when he came out. So, yeah, he's, he's got pedigree. 62 games played and... Takes it out to the 37-yard line again of six. Yeah, again, this is right now a problem for the... And you do have the two rookie draft picks. You have Simpson, uh, out, you know, out there right next to Abraham and Burke running the football. Levi, Grant Stewart in on the tackle. The receiver was Hunter Campmoyer at tight end for the Denver first day. High pick. Uh, as you said, played a lot more than they thought a year ago. Uh, just, you know, could got a chance to show himself up here in the preseason. Yeah, just way too easy on the edge. Colts have, have really struggled on the running game. This is a number 37. Not, not, not our speed. The linebacker was really late. The, 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 he's got to come up right now. And speed was number 37 was really hesitant. That would be a mere speed to in second and short. Wilson all kind of time. Estimate the grab, and I think they'll move the chains. A two-yard pickup. Yeah, again, good coverage in the back end forces him. To I think it's a JK. Not nice job of coming back at his linebacker position up to make the hit. I mean the Colts practice squad last year. 
may just be a roster spot for him. Stewart is a, is a well-known name amongst Colts fans for what he has done on special teams yeah. the last couple of years. Well, here he comes, so he brings Stewart right up to B gap right there. And Stewart is just a, you know, he's a, he's a rolling ball. But he's also wearing one of those guardian caps in game. You can now, players do that all the time in practice. He's wearing it in game. He tends do a lot of hitting when he's out there on the field. Wilson fires and broken up. Yeah, Kendall Brooks. Yeah, it's a good job by Brooks. Looked like they had a step here on the seam. Really nice play there. Really nice pass broken up. Brooks out of Michigan State for Denver. In fringe of field goal range where the Broncos are right now. Some throws flag thrown. As of now, that's a first down. Mims was the receiver. Simpson in coverage could up in there. It's not. It's a hold. It's going to yeah, be. I, I thought so, you know. Before the pass was thrown, holding decent here. Simpson's a fifth-round pick out of Auburn. He was first-team All-SEC last year. He's kind of gone back and forth between corner right now to see if he could hold up with the idea that he might become an interior slot corner or even. It's a first-down Broncos, and that was the case before the five-yard penalty was tacked on. Moyer all by his lonesome. Speed on the tackle, but Kent Moyer previously spent time with the LA Chargers. Move Wilson basically good play action. Now he comes out of here, and Stewart really gets lost. You know, Aiken basically voids the flat for a really easy, easy, easy completion. Wilson did have just shy of near side. And oh, that's man. into the end zone. Touchdown. Amar Speed was back at owner's got to get up there number 37. That is they come around here This is the old-fashioned student body left and here there's third year out of Missouri And again Denver has been moving the football defense really needs some work here for the Colts really need some work So the lead back up to 10 extra point. No problem there Colts fans, Moon Colts commemorative vodka and bourbon. Available at liquor retailers near you. It's Colts points, of course, scored by the defense. We'll see if it's Keaton Slovis or if it's the fifth Citizens Energy Group. They're scoring recap. Nine plays, 69 yards, and T.O.P. Had look forward to the Bean Kid from Kansas. You know, I've watched him in practice. He has tremendous acceleration. But, man, when he runs one of those zone reads, he can take it to the house. Cool from the pound just shy of the 30-yard line. Let's go to the sideline, our next order sideline report. Here's Lara Overton. Been closely watching tight. He is now in the blue tent, working through some things, trying to determine if he can get back in. Battled injuries all last year. Availability for the rest of this game. That defensive line depth, so critical, of course, up front for the Colts. Lara, thank you very much, and you detailed his story. It is Keaton Slovis. Hold the ball carrier. You know, the thing I've noticed about the kickoff is the toughest blocks are away from where they want to return it. Most from the backside, if you will. So Keaton Slovis spent time at USC, Pittsburgh, Pac-12 freshman of the year. His first year at USC. Got popped, and there might be some additional yardage tacked on at the end yeah, of it. I think that was hit to I think that was hat to head. I, I think we're going to attack on here. One thing I, I, I've really liked about Slovis, he really has a gun. I mean, he... Looks like about Jelani Woods, though, that made that grab. 17-yard pickup. We're going to hear from Sean Hockley in a matter of moments. Down. So the guilty party there was Art Green. Now let's talk about Jelani Woods because, again, he was a big-time threat earlier. There's no question about it. Uh, Jelani has really terrific skill set i mean he can block the edge and he can really projected him really to kind of take the job he's had a little bit of a slow start in camp it hasn't happened to ball getting hit and and again you know getting hit right in the right in the head and a real good play and that's that's what it has to separate itself so back to action momentarily any pincer speaking of guys that missed last year to injury back out there currently as the center Former Ball State Cardinal in South Slovis fires, has a man, a catch made. Will Mallory. 
Slovis. And again, Mallory continues to prove himself as a receiving tight end. But he is a real good receiver. Very seldom ever drops a ball and made some good catch. But then rookie out of Miami. It's Hall who finds the seam. Inside of the 10-yard line, Hedren's a rookie in there. We ran it right behind Gonsalves there on the right side in a little what I call a wrap zone. And it's Hall. And Hall will dive forward and sets up third down and short at the other end of the field. Offensively, which we had not seen earlier here in the third quarter. But for these reserves, still their work cut out for them.